Hello, I'm Matthew Stropes. Welcome to beautiful Cancun, Mexico. Today we'll be taking on board Time to Go. She's a 2014 Lagoon 421. Comfortable cruising catamaran with a proven and sturdy ride. She has an excellent sail plan with a square top mainsail, Genoa on a roller furler, and a spinnaker for improved downwind sailing performance. Her interior is also well appointed with a four stateroom forehead layout and the ability to sleep 10 comfortably on board. Other important features include the upgraded Yanmar engines, Cummins owning generator, water maker, and a full enclosure for the cockpit. Boarding can be done on either side or from the stern using the wide sugar scoops. This is a great way to get on board from the tender. You can see we have plenty of room to do that using the davits connected to a Harkin two-speed electric winch here center line. In the summer heat, this is the place to be in the cockpit. Eight people can be seated comfortably here at the table and storage is found underneath the seating. More storage to starboard. And in this cabinet, there's normally an ice maker, but right now it's currently receiving its annual service. The protective hardtop offers an easy way to get out of the sun. But if you're looking to get in the sun, use the lounge over on the port side. Further outboard is a manual winch for the spinnaker sail. Also, you notice the JL sound system. She has 10 speakers and one subwoofer. We mentioned earlier that the cockpit has a full enclosure. Here in Mexico, they call it a casita, which means little house, because it will definitely add another level of coziness to the space. The semi-raised helm station is located on the starboard side. Overhead, a panel within the bimini top allows a clear line of sight to the mainsail. At the helm, there's a Raymarine hybrid touch GPS, Raymarine radar, autopilot, multiple tri-data displays with wind speed and direction and water depth. Three Harkin two-speed electric winches surround the helm station with foot controls below. All sail controls and lines other than the spinnaker lead back to the helm station with plenty of jammers to keep everything in place. The excess lines stay organized in the sail bag on the starboard side deck. Let's continue forward. The bow area is an awesome place for hanging out at anchor. The starboard fore peak has a crew head and shower. Center line, there's a storage lazarette and a crew stateroom, which is also being used as storage. And there's even more storage space in the port side fore peak. Forward at the bow, we have the roller furler for the head sail, the bow spread used for a downwind sail, and the anchor and windlass. Let's move back to the stern, through the cockpit, and into the spacious salon. We see that Lagoon designed the salon with an open layout that flows into the cockpit. Your galley's here on the port side, a chef's dream, with a three basin stainless sink, three burner cooktop, Below the counter, a front-loading fridge, small freezer inside, microwave, oven, and the chef will appreciate plenty of prep and storage space. Forward to port and out of the way is even more freezer space. With the nav station close by, here we have a Raymarine Autopilot, VHF, Fusion Head Unit, and storage for maps and charts. The centerpiece in the salon is your dining table, large enough to have the whole family here. Adjacent to the table, to starboard, is a cabinet for bottle storage. Further aft is the main electrical panel, and overhead, we have a smart TV. Let's move down below and explore her four stateroom, four head layout. We'll begin on the starboard side and move forward. When we first enter the stateroom, you'll see we have a panel here inboard. That controls your water maker, creating over 200 gallons per day. Across from there, on the outboard side, is the head. We'll keep moving forward. Storage to starboard, including this hanging locker, Further forward, we find a comfortable queen bed and lots of headroom like we had in the salon. Additional storage is found underneath the bed and on the outboard side. We find the shower in the forward starboard corner. And now let's turn around, heading towards the stern and into the starboard aft stateroom. Another cozy sleeping area for two with abundant storage surrounding and underneath the bed. And the head and shower are combined here on the starboard side. This also serves as your day head. Let's move from the starboard hole over to the port side hole. Moving forward, we see that the staterooms on this side are virtually identical to the starboard staterooms.
Like we mentioned at the beginning of the video, Time to Go can sleep 10 people comfortably, eight people down here in the staterooms, and two other people here at the convertible salon table. The mechanical spaces can be found near the sugar scoops at the stern. This Lagoon 421 is powered by the upgraded 75 horsepower Yamar diesel engines. And these engines are paired to folding props. We can find a Cummins owning generator underneath the cockpit seating area near the salon entrance. That concludes our walkthrough on board Time to Go, the 2014 Lagoon 421. Thank you for taking this tour with us. If you'd like to see this boat in person, please contact me anytime.